Today I'm going to train planche and front lever. I'm going to do a banded session. So all of the exercises I'm going to use band assistance. So it should have helped me to increase my time. So increase time under tension and allow me to go to harder variations for longer. So we'll play around with different methods. So different body placement or different band placement on the body for both the front lever and the planche. So I'm doing a quick warm up with the wrists and I'm going to warm up the scapula as well, just playing with that retraction and protraction position of the scapula, mainly focusing on the protraction, so the pushing up into round in that upper back. And then I'm going to jump up on the bar and do... Now you just have to be careful if you just put some block on because this isn't very good for grip on the bar. And then I'm going to retract, depress the shoulder blades up into that arching scap pulls. Now for the planche, I have a couple of choices in terms of band attachment. I can use it, go direct to the bar. So basically just put the band around the bar or I can attach it to a ring strap or to the ring itself. Now the ring and the strap allows me to move the band up and down to make small increments. But let's just start off with a normal tuck planche. Now with the tuck planche, I have a couple of options in terms of band placement on the body. I could go around the hips. So around the hip there. Now this is going to give me the least amount of assistance compared to around the ankles. So just going into tuck, bring the knees towards the chest and then lift the toes up. This band really isn't giving me any assistance here. Now what's seen as the easier version of that is to go around the ankles. So exactly the same. Now I am winding the band up a bit more so it's helping me. Plus around the ankles it's going to push me up into that direction and force me into a tighter ball. So that's definitely much easier. There's a bit fiddly to get the band right for a tuck front lever, but I'm basically just going to sit into it. So just put it around here and then I'm going to hold onto the bar as normal. So I've got my thumbs looped around the band. So grab hold of it. You obviously need quite a low band to get into position or stand on a box. And then I'm just going to pull up into a tuck position. See, that didn't work. So I'm going to have to go more around the back. I've never actually done a front lever tuck band assist before. So around the back like that and then I can pull into a tuck. So I'm not a big fan of this one. I'd rather people get into this position with this type of high hip position and then slowly lower to wherever they can and uh, not use a band in this very early position. But it's worth having a little play. Okay, let's open the tuck up into more advanced position or flat back position. So I'm using a stronger band around the hips I'm going to point to a normal tuck and then I'm going to open there. So ideally with this one, knees are going to be underneath hips, more of a flat back, hips in line with shoulders. And that was still quite doable. I could hold a conversation with the red band for, I don't know what it was, like five, ten seconds. So same on the front lever, I'm going to attempt to get into a flat back tuck front lever using the band. Again, I would normally not use the band for this, so I'm not sure where exactly to put it. It needs to be on like low back top of the butt. You can see how tricky it is to get into position. I'm trying on this low bar, see if that helps. So there's flat back position probably there. And that's pretty comfortable. Now most people's front lever is a bit stronger than their planche, so they should be able to open out into harder progressions of the front lever quicker than they can with the planche. Okay, next let's go straddle planche, so we'll stick with this red band. And I'm going to walk backwards. Uh, I'm going to start with more of a closed hip straddle planche. So closed hip makes it easier, makes the hip go up in the air. Ideally with the straddle planche you have open hip, but I'm going to advance to that on the next one. So closed hip to start with, so there. That's again still quite comfortable with this band. Okay, same with the front lever, again round the butt, round there. I'm gonna hold on and see if I can get into that straddle position. Going up onto the higher bar. Now that's starting to make a bit more sense using the band now because I don't lose it. It doesn't have anywhere to go at the back of the legs. Okay, it's getting a bit more interesting in terms of my level now. So I'm gonna go open hip straddle. So pretty close to full planche level, especially if the straddle isn't too wide. Yep, 
yeah, that's getting a bit harder. Now there is another thing to think about in terms of the band and the planche. So I can position myself over here with my hands and obviously that's gonna have an effect of pulling the band stronger and then pulling me up in that direction. Now, if I put that around my toes there for full planche, it's gonna be very different than if I put it around my toes there for full planche and face in this direction. So let's try both of those variations on the next set. Okay, same with the front lever. Let's try and get close to that full front lever position. So full position, uh, but with legs apart. So in the straddle, open hip version, same placement of the band. I'm just gonna go onto this lower bar. So I can get into the position a little bit easier. And we do have some options here with the band. On the next one, I'm gonna try it with this way around and put my toes in the band for the full position, if like that, and then the one around the hips like we just done. Okay, let's attempt full planche. So hip placement for the band. So just gotta try and get it here without it riding up. So hip placement, walk back a little bit. Here, hands in the right position. I'm not gonna be able to talk on this one. So that was pretty tough. I think my right elbow was bending a little bit, which is not ideal, but means that it's more maximal. So I'm just gonna rest, do the same other way around, have my hips in the band there. I'm expecting this one to be a little bit harder. And then there's another one that's easier. So that would be putting the band around the feet, which we'll finish with after the next set of front levers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this. Let's see. Yeah, only a couple of seconds and this elbow was definitely wanting to bend. Okay, let's go full front lever attempt using the thinnest band around the hips. I think my hips were dropping a little bit too much sitting into the band. It was encouraging me to do this a little bit. So pike at the hips, I think. Got to put my toes into the band and then push away. You'll see lots of people use this variation. You can even do like front lever pulls and stuff. And then put the feet in the band here so it winds the band up much more. So that one works. You just have to play around with the band placement and the right band and how you put it on the hands or around the bar and around the feet. Okay, same two positions as before, but this time with the band around the ankles. Okay, this is way too easy as you can see. Now I think this one will be better directly underneath the attachment point, but still around the ankles. I did do one other option where I went into a planche press to handstand. This is more of a play thing, but uh, I tried to get from that planche press all the way up into handstand and then lower back down to planche again. Now that was in full planche. Now you could obviously do that in the other position, so in tuck planche or half open tuck or straddle or something like that. It doesn't have to be in full planche. You could play with going up and down. It is very tricky to do that, uh, to catch in the handstand position and get the band to stay around your hip in the correct way. Uh, but it's good fun to play with it and it allows you to play with some things you might not be able to do without the band. So let me know if you have any questions on this one and I will speak to you next time, guys. Check out the website www.paultwyman.com.au and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys.